Hi guys, how are you? A lot of you guys asked me to do a reaction to this artist, AliX, and I just decided to give her a try. And so today we're gonna react to Collection. I believe that is the first EP that she put out. It came out in 2015. First song is called Hello. I lost my mind, my mind. Life was a bitter The, the thing I want to say about this track and this first song that I listened to by her is that it's pretty generic to me. Um, it's pop with a little bit of 80 twist in the production. All the synths, the instruments they used are evocative of that period of time in music. But the lyrics are pretty basic to me, I mean, nothing new. It's a catchy song, it's a fun song, where she talks about this idea of love, uh, where you have to be sort of a hero for that person, a superhero, or that you just want to uh, rescue that person, or, be wanna, or you want to be rescued by that person. So it's pretty generic, also the fact that it's a... Uh, it's on a low song, I mean, it all started with an hello, take the lead and I will follow, I mean, it's just a pop song. And it's okay, but uh, nothing new. Production-wise, you guys will know that by now that I enjoy 80s productions. Next song, second song, is called Catch. <laughs> Okay, so catch. This song is a catchy song. I mean, there are a lot of elements and production switches that are interesting. Actually, it also has those elements of 80s in the production. What I really liked about these two tracks is the fact that they have, um, I mean, a pop structure. They are just two pop songs with the same structure. Even though they have the basic structure of a pop song, I like the fact that she changes the words in the pre-choruses just to give that little twist and variety to the, to the lyrics. The chorus, I really like the melody, is one of those melodies that will get stuck in your head for quite a long time. But again, it's, it's a pop song, it's a solid pop song, and it's catchier than the first one, and it's not that predictable as the first one. But for now, I'm enjoying more of the beats rather than the lyrics. And that could be a problem for me because I have to find something that's relatable. So let's keep listening. The third song is called Prime. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. 
Okay, I have to focus for a bit because I liked everything about this song. Let's start there. So, you know, as I was telling you, just pop songs, okay? They could be fine, they could be basic, they could be everything you want, but this one is just pop perfection. It's one of those songs that you listen to it and you say, okay, it's, it's a pop song, but I mean, fuck it, it's a pop song. This one has everything, lyrics, the beat, the fact, the fact that I really like this, uh, how they changed the production from the first chorus to the second chorus, adding elements and those suspense elements. And in the third one is completely different, the production. But also uh, in the bridge, uh, the last part of the bridge when they switch it up and she goes faster with the melody and with the singing. And also those little pauses in the production, in the chorus, and at certain points throughout the song is just phenomenal. The lyrics too, it's a message that I can relate to, so it's fine to me. <laughs> and that a lot of us can relate to because to me it talks about when you're young and you just don't really think with your brain because you think that you're young and you can have it all and you don't have to worry about the future and all of that. Uh, it's a reflection on that and how when you grow up you rethink about your past when you were young and you were thinking those dumb sh and you realize that maybe when you were young you had to act in a certain way or behave in a certain way just to reach the point in your life where you're at right now in a different way but I mean when you're young you do stupid stuff and it's and it's how it should be so I mean, it's just um, an interesting way of putting a message like this and the fact that the production is so upbeat and actually uh, it's kind of a bubblegum pop production or a dreamy, all, almost a dreamy production but the one that kicks in strong. Yes, I like this one very, 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 very much. Next song is called Tumor. I'm liking the direction that this project is going towards. I mean, first two songs, not really sure about them, but these two songs are more into my genre, and the fact that she decided to start experimenting with more hard, um, heavy beats, the electro ones, is interesting to me. But this one is a kind of a unique way to see a relationship. I mean, to me, it's just the way she sees this relationship with another person and the fact that you know that this relationship will ruin you, almost that person will ruin you. And you let them do it because you're aware of what they can do to you. But you rather have this feeling and um, face it afterwards when everything is over than not having that person in your life at all. So, it's a relatable song. It's an interesting way of seeing a relationship, a person, a situation. I mean, as a disease. Okay. And I like the song, the production is always interesting. Next song is called Bitch. Can I say that? the production and the outro a lot how it changes 
throughout the outro, the melody, the, um, the beat and everything, the voice production. I mean, it, this is the first song that I noticed that the, um, the vocal production is really different from the other songs. At first I was confused about the chorus, how they, the distortion in her voice on the chorus. But then, when I started getting the message, because at first I thought, I mean, this song could have a double interpretation. It could be either a domestic relationship between two people, I mean, two people that are living together. It could be either a relationship or a friendship. But then, when I started thinking about uh, how she used certain words such as, I'm your bitch, but you're my bitch, I started thinking, what, what if this song is about mental health and depression and, uh, I mean, a fight between your head and yourself? Because when the um, vocal production changed in the chorus, it's evocative to me how it could be that. And how that metallic voice could be a metaphor for her brain and what her brain is telling her. It also gave me a sense of the loneliness at a certain point when she was saying all those things, yes, do this, do that, the bacon and the wood, and uh, I'm doing this and you're doing that. But I felt something missing in those lyrics, so I started thinking about what if there's nobody else home and she's just by herself facing her demons. It's definitely a song that I should listen to it more and that has a deeper meaning to me other than a simple relationship between two people, you know? Next song is called Good. <laughs> Fitting. Oh, sweet. Yeah, this song was actually really different from all the other ones. I felt it more in my bones. And especially the chorus uh, when she says, Tell my mother that I miss her, tell my father that I tried, don't confuse my little sister. Family stuff, it always hits me. Other than that, I also like the message how sometimes you don't realize that you are doing n not bad stuff, but stupid stuff that you can control. It's just a, a true and honest song, and it's about the hope that a lot of us are looking for. It has a lot of layers that you just have to dig deep into them to realize what the true message is, because it could be, it could also be interpreted by many as a shallow song, but I, I actually think that has a deeper meaning to it. So I think this one is one of those songs that each and every one of us can give different interpretations to. And I keep liking the fact that she's uh, using this production that is heavy. And sometimes it's heavy, sometimes it's dreamy, more into the dreamy part. But I mean, you wouldn't expect a song with this message, with this production. Next song is called Sanctuary. <laughs> I found that way too much. I like the combination of these two last songs. It's kind of happening a lot in these last videos that I'm making. I'm realizing, I don't know if our if I am more emotional towards the end just like when I'm reading a book I get emotional all the time because I'm thinking oh I'm just about to finish this book and that's it the beat is super interesting this 80s elements and vibe and old scenario behind these songs is 
It's giving me life actually and I liked this song a lot. It is definitely my favorite. This one and Prime actually. And I like the message behind it. I like the fact that in the previous song she's talking about a group of people that could be her family or friends or other people and in this one she's talking about a specific person and that could also be herself we don't know if she got through her emotions and her depression and all of that if she conquered that lyrically I liked it a lot the chorus I mean wow the chorus is everything I I almost got a little too emotional but that didn't happen <laughs> but yes it, it also has this kind of um, medieval sense to it in the bridge and when she say torches I imagine I don't know why people with torches just trying to destroy a castle or to conquer something I don't know but I just had this picture in my head it means that it's a good metaphor if I add this vision in my head but then I know that the sanctuary is actually a person next song, the last song is called Never Enough a dreamy production and uh, an 80 influence track but um, I'm getting way too emotional with these last tracks I mean these last three tracks were just personal and heartfelt this is the perfect track to close a project with and I also like the the message behind it how she sees love and how sometimes love is not enough and it's actually one of those things that I thought about in my life because sometimes you have that feeling where you're really not happy with uh, the love you have not because it's not enough but because you are into that person that much that you would like to have more from that relationship if that is possible I mean it's just like you want to be the other person not to feel your love but also their love towards you so it's just that feeling of um, wanting something so bad you could also have another vision on this song that when you want something too much you just suffocate that thing that you have if you want that love too much you will end up suffocating it I mean at first I wasn't really sure about DCP because the first song Hello was pretty generic to me. Those last three songs were the only Trinity with a mix of good lyrics, great emotion and amazing production. Maybe the only song that I didn't quite like was Hello. But for sure Sanctuary, Never Enough and Prime are my favorite ones. This is Collision 1 so there is a 2, right? let me check right now yes there is a second EP okay so <laughs> I have to dig deeper on it and I'm so fucking curious to know a lot more about her and about this project thank you guys for watching so see you next time